Okay, we're ready for chapter 3.1. Start off with new, and we're in English units this time. Create. Open up my origin. Sketch. And if you look at that L bracket, I'm going to draw that L shape without that top left-hand corner being cut off. It's, it, is a, it appears to be two and a half tall by four and a half long. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch that out. I'm going to come up here, type in 2.5, enter. Straighten it up, go 4.5, enter. And the height on that is 0.75. Enter. I'm going to come over this way. And if you wanted to do the math again, you could type in 4.5 minus 0.75. Enter. Come up. Close it out. And I'll probably just go ahead type in from the origin to this line 1.25 enter and from the origin to this line 2.25 enter and now we're kind of in the middle there have our centroid um, I'm going to extrude that three inches so I'm going to finish sketch scroll back out extrude type in 3, enter, and then I'm going to come and put a sketch on this surface, choose my line command, come up here, choose any arbitrary point except the center, so just click on a point here and a point here, go to dimension, grab that point, that point, and type in 2, enter. Go to this point, to that point, type in 1, enter. Finish sketch, go to extrude, cut, choose that corner, hit OK. Now I need to put a 3 quarter inch hole located on this surface. I'm just going to drop it in and measure it, 0.75, enter. And I'm going to dimension it from this line to the center should be 2.67. And from this line to that line is 1.5, which it is. So I'm just going to re-enter it. And then I'm going to finish sketch. Go to extrude, go to cut, choose the circle, hit OK. So the last thing we need to do is draw in the rectangle. And I think I'll just come and you could either sketch it from the side or the top. I'm going to choose the top this time. I'm going to go to the rectangle, choose a spot on that line, come over. And I have to go back 1.5, so in one, enter 1.5 tab, not enter, and type in 2, enter. Somehow that didn't come out right. I'm going to add one more dimension. From here to there should be 0.5 to get it even. I'm going to go hit my home button, go to finish sketch, go to extrude, Make sure it's on cut. Choose that rectangle. Hit OK. There you have it. That's chapter 3.1. And again, go ahead and make your blueprint. Put all your dimensions on it. You can always refer back to video number two to show you how to do that and turn that in for a grade. Thanks, guys.